Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Mixed Media Mayhem combined with Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. Uh, this is our 12th go around and this happens three times a year, uh, June, October, and March. Today's sketch is brought to you by Kathy Price and this is an exclusive sketch for 30 Days of Sketches. Uh, the recipe we are using for Mixed Media May Mayhem is embossing folders, the colors blue, purple, and black, and sequins. So today I am doing an ice cream layout, which is no surprise. Um, I do love my ice cream layouts. I am using this awesome uh, stencil from Sandy over at Scrapping Reflections. This is one of the exclusive uh, stencils for her Stencil of the Month Club. I don't remember the name of it, but it's a very drippy one. Um, and what I did was I trimmed my paper down to fit in the stencil because I actually want to hit this in two rounds um, and I don't want to have a line across the top so I wanted to tuck it in and I am starting out with a bunch of uh, Dilutions um, ink spray and the first one that I am using is grape let's see here yeah crushed grape and then I am using um, I think Funky Fuchsia and London Blue. I will put the names down below for you. They are also going to be held up in front of the screen a little bit later in the video. And um, now I am, once it's kind of dry to the touch, I am going with a different one of the drips that are in this stencil and putting it right over the other color that I've already got down. I know that blue and uh, red make purple or blue and pink make a kind of purplish fuchsia color. And so I just sprayed another kind of, uh, another round of the fuchsia right over the top there. And I really like the way that that looks. Now I know that's a really unnatural color for ice cream, um, but that is the color of the ice cream we were eating. You can kind of see the photo off to the right hand side by that blue bottle. Um, that is the flavor I was eating. It was, I don't know, something with dragon fruit. Um, it is not my normal. It's probably not one I would ever order again. It wasn't bad. It just, my favorite is gold metal ribbon and that's usually what I stick with. I just decided to try something different this time. Um, here are the colors I've, I am using to splatter. I've used fuchsia, orchid, sky, and blackberry. Now I used those specifically because I wanted the gloss to look like the ice cream was wet or the background was wet, but the actual background is made out of these colors. I've got uh, the crushed grape, funky fuchsia, London blue, and rose quartz is the color I added right at the top. And then I'm gonna also sprinkle some shimmer spray of rose quartz and laid back lilac right over the top to give a little bit of sparkle. I will show you that how it all looks close up here in just a moment, but I really like the way that this looks and I love that stencil. I wasn't really sure what I was gonna use it for when I bought it from Sandy or when I got it from Sandy. Um, I really had uh, Halloween in mind, um, thinking that's what I would use it for, but uh, I'm really pleasantly surprised that it worked out so well for this particular layout. So there you get to see a little bit of sparkle and all kinds of different colors. Um, I am going to back the whole thing on black, but I am adding a layer in between the black and the mixed media layer, and I am just going to use a white paper. I'm going to use this uh, ink pad from Catherine Pooler in Lilac to create a frame all the way around the mixed media piece and then it's going to be backed onto black. So now I have um, effectively used black, blue, and purple, which were uh, three colors that were called for in our mixed media recipe for mixed media mayhem. And I'm not doing the banners that are on the inspiration piece. I am looking at it as though that drippiness is kind of like banners. So I'm going to go with that. I am going to do a little corner detail up there in the upper left. And then I'm using several photos in smaller sizes than what uh, she has in the sketch. And then my embellishment areas will be in similar places. Um, I will also do my journaling in the same area, but I have a title that is going above the journaling rather than up in that corner area. So I have this uh, textured impressions um, embossing folder from Sizzix, 
and it's a really deep embossing in case you have not seen those before. Um, you spritz a little bit of water on it so it doesn't just break the paper. Then you run it through and it works much better than if you try and do it with a paper dry. Um, a lot of times it will rip the paper or crease the paper so um, well that it, it starts to rip. Now what I was thinking here is I'm going to cut along the line of these pinwheels and that is the name of this folder. It's called pinwheel and I thought it looked reminiscent of a cone texture so that is what I was going with um, it, I mean it's not exactly a cone texture but it's the closest thing I had so that's what I'm going with now I thought I would do something in this bottom corner as well and then I would have that scallop up above in the top corner but then I decided you know what I'm going to peel the corner back and then I'm going to have um, one of these pieces attached to the corner that is pulled back and then one piece that is layered under um, in the corner that is revealed. So I am working on that and I've got to go ahead and uh, adhere that really well with some glue so that it doesn't come unpeeled from the corner if that is a thing. Um, unpeeling is or coming unattached is a thing. I don't know if unpeeling is a thing. <laughs> it sounds very unappealing. Um, and then I'm going to tuck this other piece in. I know I'm going to have to trim it down and that's totally fine. I don't have any problem with that. I am cutting the edges down a little bit just to make them nice uh, because my paper was just a tiny bit bigger than the embossing folder. So it had a little crease on the edge in case you were wondering why I was trimming it down just a tad there. And then I'm going to peel this whole thing back, tuck it under, and that is where it's going to go. Before I do that though, I am going to pull out a little bit of... Um, oxide ink and I believe I'm using picked raspberry for this and I am just going gently over the top in fact um, I think I started with seedless preserve but I think I might have switched to picked raspberry that one was definitely seedless pr preserve um, and I'm just going to go over the top of it oh look I'm trying to show you the color and you can't even see it that was so great. Um, I, it doesn't look like it was uh, picked raspberry. I will get the name of that and put it down below so that you will know what color I went over it. But I just went over it real gently so it just caught the uh, raised areas and not the recessed areas. Um, the links to all of the products will be down below. I know there was an FTA disclaimer that went across the screen there in case you missed that. I do use affiliate links. I get a little bit of a kickback. It doesn't cost you anything extra to use them, but it does help me out a little bit. So I always appreciate it if you do purchase something, um, if you use my links. So they are down below. I also just signed up for an Amazon affiliate. So if you prefer to use Amazon, uh, and be it saves you on shipping or for whatever reason. Um, I now have links for Amazon and scrapbook.com and a cherry on, on top. So um, you can support your big box stores or you can support the um, the little guy. To totally up to you. <laughs> anyway, that's my little spiel. I don't usually say that very often. So if that turned you off, don't be afraid to watch my other videos. I rarely ever talk about my affiliate links, but um, because I had the new one, I wanted to mention it. So I have gone ahead and clustered up my photos into a little collage here. Um, I have taken both girls that I take care of out for lunch after I picked up the older one at school. And this layout is for me. It's not going in their book, but they are a big part of my life. So I do like to include a few layouts um, of things I do with them th uh, in my own album, as well as I do scrapbook for them as well just uh, because I know they really appreciate it and I enjoy doing it. So um, this one is actually for me. <laughs> uh, so I have this sticker that says Simple Pleasures. What I did was I, I have bins of ephemera and stickers that are sorted by color. So when I get to the end of a collection and I just have a few stickers left or a few pieces of ephemera or I don't have any paper or anything else left over, I just have bits and pieces left over from a collection, I will sort it into my color bins. And when I get to a lay layout like this and I don't really have a specific collection in mind for it, or it's all mixed media, I go to my color bin, I pull out what I need, and um, that is it. 
So I went through my purple color bin and I pulled out a bunch of things in varying shades of purple, uh, a little bit of fuchsia in there as well. And I am going to go ahead and use those. So I have everything from labels to little banner pieces to uh, even a p couple of extra um, uh, three by four cards that were left over that I really liked the pattern of. So I, I pulled those in um, as well, or one of those in, one side's pink, one side's purple. And then um, I've even got a button in there and uh, as you can see some flourishes. So that little piece that says everyday magic, I think that was an image I stamped and I didn't use on something and I ended up sticking it in there um, because I do have the stamp that goes with that or matches it. Um, it is a Chamel stamp and it, I have the collection that goes with it as well. But um, <laughs> I think that was actually a stamped image. And so I decided to go ahead and use that. My title is going to be The Everyday Magic of Ice Cream, which um, I don't know about you, but we all find it very magical to have ice cream. And it's always a fun afternoon treat. Sometimes when I pick her up from school, we'll stop for ice cream or something to that effect. Um, some kind of little treat. It doesn't happen every day because I don't pick her up every day, but uh, the, the times that I do, um, every once in a while, I like to surprise her. So anyway, that is what was going on there. I did pop that everyday magic up onto some foam and um, I do have a button up at the top. I'm going to put a little bit of twine through while I go ahead and get these situated. I just want to remind you that there are links down below to everyone playing along with Mixed Media Mayhem. You can go and check out their videos and uh, there will be a playlist down below for all of the people playing along with 30 days of sketches so you can see all of the vi uh, videos that have been released to date um, so go and check that out as well and uh, don't forget to go and give Christy a little bit of love for putting all of this together uh, it's a huge undertaking for her to do 30 days of sketches so many times in a year um, but I know everybody enjoys it and it's awesome if you go and give her a, a little bit of love as well she can be found at Christy's Beautiful Life on YouTube. Okay, so I'm popping up these little banners up onto some foam as well. I'm just using Fun Foam from Walmart. It is adhesive on one side and uh, the other side I just add a little bit of the Nouveau Deluxe adhesive, which I find to be the perfect glue for me. Um, it dries really quick and it is clear and I don't usually have a problem with it clogging if it is laid on its side. Uh, the times that it has clogged, it has been standing up and so I try to leave it on its side. Uh, these stickers are from one of the Chamel collections. They are not puffy or anything, but they are super glittery and they're the perfect color. So I thought I'm going to go ahead and use those. And this is my little, where it says ice cream. So everyday magic and then ice cream is what I've got so far. And then I'm going to use some little tile stickers in purple to um, finish it off with the, the word the and the word of. Um, those little tile stickers, I'm pulling those out now. Those are a stamp set, stamp and die set that I got from Paper Tray Ink that is retired. So there will not be a link for that down below. Um, I, you might be able to find it if you do an in search of on maybe a Paper Tray Ink site, or maybe if you go check eBay or something like that, but generally it is not available um, and hard to find. So I, it, it's an awesome tool. I don't know why they don't have it anymore, but uh, they did have it for many years. So um, I guess they've got to retire products at some point, right? Okay, so I am inking these up with a little bit of Black Soot Distress ink. I did ink up the Everyday Magic sticker as well and um, the little banner pieces and the other ephemera just to make them pop off of the page. I've already got a lot of black going on with that uh, background piece go all the way around and so uh, this ties it in really nicely together. Now I'm pulling out some uh, sequins. The pack at the very front there that I'm using right there, I don't know where I got those from. They've got some little flowers in fuchsia in it and some purples and then I did use some of the purple ones out of the Spiegel Mom scraps bag there that says lilac blooms on it. So I use a few of those also and do a little bit of a mix so that I have that fuchsia and the purple both represented. And that is my last item on the list for Mixed Media Mayhem. I've used my embossing folder in that upper left-hand corner. I've used the sequins. And of course, I've got the blue, purple, and 
black uh, already on the layout. So I have completed the recipe for Mixed Media Mayhem. You can also go to the Mixed Media Mayhem web uh, Facebook group. There is a group there and every Friday we do a hop that includes whoever wants to participate. So if you would like to join in on that, the inspiration for the end of the month will be posted um, a few weeks in advance so you can play along as well. That is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and spending time with me. Uh, leave any comments you might have down below. I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. I really appreciate the time that you take to spend with me, and um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I will see you guys again tomorrow with another one. Thanks. Bye-bye.